something new now next If you were those artists in the city Come on and get your shine on Get your shine on And we're back with Candy Fresh <laughs> So that, that song was actually really pertinent Because I am standing with the international man of mystery My big brother You see I had to swell up my chest a little bit here uh, I call you Minnesota's own Idris Elba A little bit something like that Mike Dicko. What's going on, sir? What's up? How, What's you up? Doing? How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm good. Happy to be here. Shout out to my girl, Bianca. Whoop, whoop. Candy Fresh, St. Paul. Candy Fresh, St. Paul. Doing it. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you don't know who this gentleman is, I mean, seriously, you've been, I mean, an integral part of the Twin Cities music scene. Yes, sir. The, pretty much the world music scene. Trying to get out there, man. Trying, trying to get, get out there. there. Trying to let the world hear what, I, you. what I got to bring to it. You know, bring my part to it. That okay. R&B, that soul stuff. That good stuff. That, that good old school shoe. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Shoo-doo. Not that old. Step Not, back a little oh, okay. bit. <laughs> Told me to cut it out. All right. That's cool. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so, so tell us about that. Tell us about what, it, what, you're, what you're working on now. What's the well, project? the first project I had released, which was um, So It Was Written, which was my first project, mm-hmm. uh, did very well. Um, Actually was picked up by, I did a song, my first song was called Lost Without You. Uh, Verizon Mobile picked that up and flew me out to Chicago for a a competition there to try to get me to the Essence Festival. I didn't make that part, but it was funny because that was my first time really performing. And embarrassing enough, I'm surprised I didn't run away and tuck my my tail between my legs or whatever. But I was performing in front of an audience and they had cameras that was like uh, broadcasting to millions of people. And I was supposed to get up there and sing uh, Dave Hollister, which is from my hometown, oh. Chicago. Oh, oh. I got up there and nothing came out. Just <laughs> Dude, I, nothing came out. They, they, the band was going off and I, yeah, I, I wanted to, to die. But I came back and I'm still doing it and, and doing real well with it. So, you know, the new thing I'm working on now, um, I have a new project coming out called Simply Wonderful. Simply Wonderful. Simply Wonderful. Rolls off the tongue nicely. Yeah, and I, I love that. You know, so Simply Wonderful is just how my mindset and how I changed as a person, as an artist, the growth and the man I'm becoming. You know, I'm here with my son, which is 19 years old and in college. Shout out to that. Shout you know, out to that. Yeah, man. So um, Simply Wonderful is about just how I'm viewing life now. About the, It's a mindset of going into life and just everything should be simple in life. You know, I think sometimes we tend to make things complicated when it don't have to be, you know. And So It Was Written was about a heartbreak. Like you hear, if you listen to that project, yeah, I put my heart into that one. Simply Wonderful is about enjoying love, enjoying life. You know, with the, you know, it's like driving down the coast with the top down, vibing with your girls, like some little jazz in there and everything, you know. So, and on top of that, man, I have um, a fragrance, which I always wanted to do. Wait, wait, wait. Am I going too fast? You got a fragrance? I got a fragrance, man. How does one even get a fragrance? (laughs) I, actually, I've been researching. I've actually wanted that for years, but um, it was supposed to be one because with um, So It Was Written, how the mm-hmm. whole pro- uh, package was, if you looked at the, the case of So It Was Written, it was like a love letter. If uh-huh. you look on the back of it, it looked like an envelope. When you open it up, it had letters, which was handwritten of each song that was inside there. So I wanted to put a lot of emphasis. I wanted people to you know, back in the day when you used to look at a CD, you used to read the cover, you used to see who wrote it, who Wait, did all the things. The kids in the audience are going, Mom, yeah, what's a CD? Know. Exactly, what, what's exactly. That? Everything is so downloaded stream now. So I wanted to give people that feeling again. So when it had, so it was written, you opened it up, but then I had like a scent of my cologne in each one. So it's like getting a love letter. So my whole thing is I wanted to bring a feeling back when you first got, uh, so it was written, it was like you open it up, you get to smell it, you get to feel it, you get to listen to it, and it was like creating a moment. So I wanted to I wanted people to enjoy it, you know. So I always put thought into my stuff. Some people are like, boy, you think too much. But you know, that's how it is. I wanted people to have an experience. So even with this project now, I finally have a fragrance. So the name of the CD is called Simply Wonderful. The fragrance is called Simply Wonderful. Super simple. Like you said, keep it yeah. simple. Yeah. So and it's gonna be dropping in April. So it's actually being shipped from Italy. I actually, you know, sent you my own little little Yeah. Nuances or something in there. Yeah, okay. there you go. Nuances. I like okay. that. <laughs> so I heard a rumor, mm-hmm. and it's, it's not really a rumor. I heard that the entire country of Canada reached out to you 
in some sort of way. Yeah, which was Kinda actually close. No, it, it's it, <laughs> not the whole entire country. Yeah, just, you, you know, just partial half of it at least. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, they reached out to me. They heard some of my music on Reverb Nation, and um, you know, um, they asked me to do a song. So I ended up doing one song for them, and they loved it so much that they reached out to me again, and they asked me to do a full project, well, an EP. Okay. And I thought nothing of it, you know. I, you know, the I didn't do any of the writing on there. Um, the one guy there, he did the most of the writing. He did all the writing. Uh, I just lended my voice to it, and it wasn't like my type of feel of music. But I still, I felt like, okay, this is a way that I can reach out to the world, and somebody can hear me that I can't touch, you know. And sure enough, we end up getting nominated for H M M A award over in um, Los Angeles. And and the crazy thing. Can we clap thing, it up for that? Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So what was amazing, I'm thinking it was going to be like a little rinky-dink type of place. You go inside there. I go inside there, and I'm talking about you have earth, wind, and fire inside there. Stop. Yeah, you have. Um, I was actually nominated with Justin Timberlake. You know, so I'm like, okay. I'm sitting, like, I'm at a, a table full of, of, of TV execs and everything, and same thing everybody always say to you. Oh, Mike the Coat, I love that name. So I'm like, you know what? What I had to do, I get it so much that people love that name. My son also carries that name. So I was like, before somebody else do, I had to trademark, trademark that, name. that name. Exactly. So trademark I that own name. that, and I'm trying to create a brand around it. And because he's so much of an artist, not as far as my son can sing, but he wouldn't. I tried to pay that kid $100. He would not sing. I got $150 for you <laughs> right now. Where you at? We coming for you. But he, what he does love, you know, um, he's, in, he's in college, you know, his second year in college. You know, and he's into computer graphics, and, you know, he's all about the arts more and behind the scenes or whatever, so I'm proud of him for that, you know, so I can hand down the brand of that Michael DeCole when I'm done with it and make sure he don't mess it up and, you know, let him do what he want to do. That That is amazing. I mean, just extraordinary. Yeah, and man. I mean, I really thank you for coming out and talking to us today. Definitely, definitely, we, man. We were blessed and privileged to have. Can yeah, I mention one more subscribe. thing? Do anybody in here know um, Sounds of Blackness? Do hey, anybody in here up. know Jamisia Bennett? Clap it up. Jamisia has a song I wrote along with a friend of mine, Jay Isaac um, and Robbie Robb, that's yeah, that actually is. blowing up. It actually won the USA Songwriters Competition, a song I wrote called Man For Me. You'll hear her performing it, and it's been on the radio or whatever, and she's doing really well with that song, and it's still climbing. And it's so funny because people tend to forget, like me, I'm impatient. You know, and I'm thinking, as soon as I hit it, as soon as I create a song, I expect the world to gravitate towards it. Well, she put that song out a year ago, and it's still climbing. It's doing big, like, in other countries or whatever. So it takes time, and, and you, I have to sometimes sit back and remember that, that why I got into this is to get into it for the love and nothing else. You know, because once you start looking for the money and the fame and all those things there, and when it don't come, you tend to get bitter. And yeah. I stepped back from music for a while because of that. But now I'm back with new project, and I'm back to the love of it. So that's where I'm at now, man. Well, we back. I'm glad you're back. Thank you, sir. Okay. So uh, we have a special treat for you guys today. We are going to let Mike DeCoe do a performance. Y'all want to hear him sing? I know the ladies yeah. want to hear him sing. Yeah, it's a new track. I, I actually, a friend of mine's wrote, uh, Tim Levy and myself. It's called Dedicated. So I'm definitely going to perform that. Okay, well, before you sing that, yes, I'm going to have to get my girl up out of here because I can't okay. have her, you know, talking about you later. <laughs> so uh, when we come back on Candy Fresh, we got Mike DeCoe. Thank you for having me, man. Woo -woo. Appreciate it. <laughs> 